right, welcome everybody to the Backyard Jamboree. We thought maybe it'd be a little warmer this evening, but uh, glad y'all came out anyway. We're gonna start it out with a piece that uh, is part of the Floyd Radio Show series, uh, the theme song. A little uh, get, uh, old time number called Roscoe. Anybody wants to dance, there's plenty of boards out there. Just get in and go. We're gonna play you a bunch of dance tunes. See how we can uh, get these kids, old and young, to work together here. <laughs> All right, kick that thing off, Shane. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> As you know, if you looked at the schedule, this is the Hazy Mountain String Band. Right here in the center are the Grantham Kids from Franklin County near Boone's Mill. And that area is in sight of a big old mountain called Hayes Mountain. So thus the name Hazy Mountain. <laughs> yeah, their family roots go real deep in that area. And it's been a big uh, honor and a pleasure for myself and Andy Buckman over there to work with these kids, get them learning these tunes to play dances and for entertainment and and they've really impressed us and I hope they'll impress you. So uh, yeah, these youngins have the music in them and they got the heart in them to be the next generation of old time music. It, it means a lot to us to to hear them coming on. Yeah, we feel like it's our duty. We learned from old folks ourselves when we were young and now it's time to pass it on along to anybody old or young. So we're glad they're or they're picking it up so easily. All right, let's see. What's the what's next one we got? Is Hop Light Ladies, are they okay, man? Hop Ladies, a kick's all dough. Yeah. Can you get that and start it? Hop Light Ladies, a kick's all dough. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> ah, she's older than she looks. <laughs> Getting memory problems. Getting like us, man. Yeah. <laughs> we teach them how to forget as much as remember. <laughs> Names all kind of mystify people sometimes, including us. Do you remember now? Thank you. 
tell you who everybody is up here. Over there on the, your far right on the banjo is Andy Buckman. He's been uh, working with Wyatt pretty close on his banjo claw hammer style. And Wyatt is the little fella there with the banjo, Wyatt Grantham. Yeah, doing a great job. All right, back behind him is his little sister on the bass. Show yourself. Yeah, that's Gatlin, Gatlin Grantham. Yeah. <laughs> And on the fiddles, big sister uh, Cheyenne Grantham. And, uh, they really have uh, been getting on this music more and more and more. Uh, yeah, Cheyenne's had uh, explored different kinds of styles, classical and bluegrass, and White kind of keeps her in the old time camp with his claw hammer style. So we're glad that we could play for you today. And I uh, hope we'll get some dancing going in a little bit. All right. Play that chicken in a bread tray. You got any chickens at home? Yeah, my yeah. You got some chickens? I get to eat the eggs, Mac. I got oh, yeah. plenty of chickens. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, somebody wrote a song called it Chicken in a Bread Tray. I guess they put the bread tray out there so the chickens could clean it out. All right. It's kind of a Liza Jane sort of a tune. All right. Start that thing off, right? Okay. for dancing appreciate that yeah we're going to get uh ashley watkins to join us and uh andy and ashley and myself are all teachers at this uh entity of the floyd store called the handmade music school and these are some of our top kids obviously and uh, but we have a lot of kids that come and help us uh, keep that program a success and 
Ash has been working with them on some singing, and they're going to play uh, and sing you a little song, and uh, we'll uh, keep it going. Y'all ready? Let me get my harmonica. as time goes by and we got some more coming up so don't go away yeah, all right let's see go back to g fillers on the banjos yeah with old time music we do a lot of tuning getting things in the right key and then we're gonna go back to g for a couple more tunes and then keep moving on with some other tunes and uh, dance tunes and songs all right we're gonna do a little floppy mule now yeah. You know, get that and put up in your brain. Sorry. That's all right. Andy might start this thing. Go ahead. All right. Remember how it starts? Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you. 
just going to switch up a little bit and uh, we're allowing those banjo players to go off in tune to get in the next key. And meanwhile, we're going to do a tune that Cheyenne played up at Galax Fiddler's Convention in 2019, almost two years ago, and won second place in the youth fiddle. So uh, she's brushed the cobwebs off of this recently, and uh, we'll see if we can uh, get, her, get her to play it as good as she did that night. <laughs> All right, do your best. I'll just get my... I just want to tell you all, uh, for me, what a joy it is to be back up at Floyd and play it on Friday night. It's just, it really... Uh, we've all missed it so much, and seeing all of our friends and all of our community getting together, it's just a joyous occasion yeah. for us all. So thank you all so much Absolutely. for coming out. It's been a long winter. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, I think everybody out here is feeling like it's a special time to get back out and enjoy some music on Friday night. Yeah, and it's even nicer outside than we ever thought it'd be, so it's a good thing. <laughs> Maybe uh, some good some comes out of some of these things get to figure out a good place to have music outside. All right, let's try a little bit of that tune that uh, is right a local tune as you get. It's around here. There's a, a creek that flows out of Floyd and down into Franklin County, where they're from, called Shooting Creek. And there's been a tune made about that long ago. So it's one of our old-time local tunes. Can you start that thing off, Wyatt? Okay. Shooting Creek? Shooting Creek. Okay. Good.
Thanks, Chair. Yeah, we got some flat footing going right there. That's one of our local traditions is flat footing, so I hope uh, more of you will give it a shot. Inside, the floor would be just, just plumb full. And uh, we're in the grass out here with some boards sprinkled around, so I hope you'll uh, know that and come on down and give it a shot. All right, we're going to try another standard tune. Let's try a little Mississippi Sawyer. <laughs> Saving the best for last. I didn't, hadn't introduced our bass player yet. <laughs> He's uh, in a, from a famous family. Barry Kemp. His mother's Rhoda Kemp, the queen of old time music. <laughs> and I hope she's listening somewhere in Roanoke. She's usually out here, and she'll be out here most every night. Famous Rhoda. No matter, yeah. So we're dedicating our show to Rhoda. She's been playing the banjo since she was eight years old. And how old is she now, Barry? 91. 91. Y'all go figure that. Pretty good while. <laughs> yeah, she's she's quite a lady. So these kids are going to sing you a song with Shane playing the guitar some. And uh, it's a, not a real old song, but it's a song that's gotten around a lot. And uh, everybody usually likes it. It's called Red Mountain Wine. Wyatt, you going to start that for us?
Yeah. Appreciate y'all singing that. We want to keep going on that. That's such a good song. We learned All that right. tune from an old friend of ours <laughs> named Ivory Kimball, lived over in Carroll County near Laurel Fork, and she was another one of the great, great ladies of old time music who helped a lot of folks along the road. And I can't help but think uh, Miss Ivory would be real happy to hear these youngins carrying on her tradition. <laughs> All right, we're going to get Tim to sing you another one about that little Lula Waltz. Get your fiddle back and uh, we're gonna play you some more dance tunes. We got what we got here Western country, Western fly, country. fly around. Yeah, we look forward to things getting back where we can play outside. There's gonna actually be a jam session out here this Sunday under the shade of this tree. If anybody plays and wants to come around, there'll be uh, a circle of chairs and Ash and Andrew will be leading some tunes, and anybody who wants to join in can listen or play, or dance maybe. There might be a dance board or two out there. Oh no, one last chance. We're breaking this. Yeah, yeah, she's going to tune up a little bit. Jams at 1.30, sorry, 1.30 to 3.30, Sunday. Old time jam, then there'll be a bluegrass jam at four for to six. So all afternoon, it's uh, just, if you want to come out, just free, just come on down to the alley and be uh, mindful of your neighbors. Is that thing really good? Yeah, I got it. Okay. All right, let's see. We're going to try Western Country.
some more. How about Angeline the Baker? Thing out of tune up here if we can help it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad these kids learned how to tune their instruments early on and, and know when it's not right and you can do something about it. Yeah. All right, now? Mm -hmm. Okay, kick that off. Give us a second. I don't know, uh, Dylan. In the, in the side of the you want to talk about your guitar now? Yeah, good. 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 There he is. 
Switch. All right, y'all having fun tonight? Thank you again for being here. I'm going to, they've asked me to come up and talk a little bit while they're uh, retuning. Uh, I want to take a moment real quick to talk about a, a project. Uh, you heard Mac talk about the Handmade Music School. Uh, we started that in 2016, and uh, we're really loving it, really proud of it. We've got some great teachers, and um, through the pandemic, we uh, started a thing called Handmade at Home, and we uh, broadcast workshops and lessons to people all over the world, and we're doing this on a weekly basis, and uh, we've really, it's really made the world a smaller place. We've been able to connect with uh, people in the UK and Australia and all over the world uh, that can't easily get here and are loving the fact that we're bringing this music from Southwest Virginia to them. And... Um, what, uh, what I wanted to tell you about tonight is that our friend Jackson Cunningham is a great musician, a great friend, and an incredible luthier. And uh, just last week we announced uh, the Jackson Cunningham guitar raffle. He has uh, allowed us the opportunity in order to raise money for the Handmade Music School Scholarship Fund, uh, a beautiful... Um, 1930, it's based off a of early Gibson uh, 1930s L00, um, beautiful guitar with a uh, spruce top, uh, Honduran mahogany sides and neck, and Brazilian rosewood fingerboard. Uh, it is an absolutely stunningly gorgeous guitar, and we're raffling it right now for $25 a ticket. And uh, you can get that at our website, uh, handmademusicschool.com or floydcountrystore.com. And all of the proceeds go to a program called Share the Music, uh, which is a scholarship fund so that nobody gets turned away from learning how to play this music because of financial reasons. Uh, so it just means that anyone who approaches us to go to a, to take lessons, to come to a workshop or go to our annual camp called the Floyd Old Time Music Get Together, uh, we don't turn anyone away. And so this is uh, a great opportunity. For 25 bucks, you could win an absolutely gorgeous guitar. And if you don't win it, you're supporting a good cause. So check it out, floydcountrystore.com, the Jackson Cunningham Guitar Raffle. All right? Uh-oh. I didn't talk long enough. Oh, you ready? All right. Thank you all for listening to that. Check it out. It's gorgeous. Thank you. All right, we're going to get in some Dannon A chord and go out a few good old A tunes. I was just asking Shane, what was John Brown's dream? He had a dream. He made a song. Not sure. John, John Brown, Brown dreamed, dreamed the devil was dead. The devil was dead, yeah. The devil was dead, John Brown dreamed. <laughs> All right, play that thing. That's one of the best steps. That happened yet. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's been an hour, so whenever you're... Uh, can we do two more? Yeah, yeah do I, two I, more. I, I talked to him. Will you just say yeah. say something before the last one by the... Yeah. Next yeah. yeah. one had me up. Carol Camden. Carol Camden. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> 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 Today, but why not? Carol Camden. Man, no one players, man. Yeah, I know, right? They just pop out of nowhere. I've actually been here the whole time. <laughs> I just happened to step in and leave. <laughs> um, you just a nice sitting yeah. right, right here. I don't know. <laughs> man, I thought it so good singing uh, Goodbye Little Bonnie. Uh, man, uh, proud moment. Were you at home or were you up there? I was across the street okay. and I was like on the computer in the back room and I heard that and I was like, is that some hero? Yeah. Yeah. And I went to that with the back of the room. Oh, cool. Okay, we're going to play one more and then take a break. And we're going to say goodbye to the folks out there in uh, virtual land. And, but come back, we're going to take about a 15 minute break and then play some more tunes for, for dancing and just kind of enjoy ourselves, rest of the 
time we got, which won't go that well that late. But my stretch, stay <laughs> on. There we go. All right, John Henry, y'all take off on that thing. Go ahead. Okay. y'all sticking around. Thank you all. All righty. We're going to take a break now and come right back in a few more minutes. <laughs> 